Tell me the story of Jesus. Write on my heart every word. Tell me the story most precious, sweetest that ever was heard. Tell the angels in chorus, sing as they welcome this bird. Glory to God in the Jesus was born in Bethlehem in the year 4 B.C. in the city of David. He was born of the Virgin Mary, fathered in her by the Holy Spirit of God. Angels announced to the world in a beautiful song, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is well pleased. One angel in particular announced to them, Behold, I bring you good news of great joy, for to you is born this day in the city of David a Christ our Lord. Thus the shepherds were invited to pay homage to the new king. Wise men were called from afar by a shining star. Later, old Simeon and old Anna saw their life's ambition come to pass as they viewed the new child, the Savior, as God had promised they would before they died. Jesus was raised in a small rural town of Nazareth where his adoptive father, Joseph, taught him the use of the tools of a carpenter. It was hard work, work requiring much manual labor, skill, an eye for construction, and a body that could bear up under the hours of sweating in the hot sun. It produced hands that were coarse from touching rough wood. For many years, Jesus worked in the trade of being a carpenter. Fasting alone in the desert, tell of the days that are past, how for our sins he was tempted, he yet was triumphant at last. Tell of the years of his labor, tell of the sorrows he bore. He was despised Tell of the grave where they laid him. 
And angels watched and disciples watched as he began to ascend into heaven. He arose, as he arose into heaven, he told the apostles to go everywhere and tell the good news. Jesus can be your savior. He wants you to belong to him. He gave his life for you. He promised to return again. And when he returned, he wants to take you home with those who love and are obedient to his will to be with him through all eternity. When he returns, he will destroy and condemn to the fires of hell all those who have not obeyed his will. Jesus can be your friend, a wonderful loving friend, or he can be your worst enemy. You have all, you will have in all eternity. He wants to help you. You know, the cross, the resurrection does matter. It was about seven weeks after Jesus was crucified that Peter proclaimed the gospel message in Acts, the second chapter. Peter's words were about the death and the burial and the resurrection of Christ. Those words pierced the hearts of those who heard. And they set out, they asked Peter and the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter replied to them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. He said, This promise is to you, to your children, and to those who far off. Then Peter continued and told them to save yourselves. The same message is ours today. The Lord was born, he lived, and he was crucified, but he was resurrected from death. And through that resurrection, he gives us the hope of eternal life. The question for us is, does the resurrection matter to you today? Perhaps you are a believer. Perhaps you've never been baptized for the remission of sins. If there's anything that we can do in any way to help you complete your obedience to the will of Christ, won't you let it be known? Yeah.